My name is Jaslyn, and I'm from St. Xavier High School, and I'm studying the effect of thermotherapy on the shelf life of Fragaria nasa. Fragaria nasa are strawberries. Strawberries are cultivated all around the world, especially in warm climates. The average person eats about 3.4 pounds per year, so strawberries are really important. But strawberries have very short shelf life, from like three to seven days. So I was wondering, what are some ways we can increase the shelf life of strawberries? Fruits spoil mainly because of mold spores that are found everywhere and they germinate on the surface of the fruit. So thermotherapy is a process where you put the fruit in hot water to prevent the growth of mold and increase the shelf life. For my experiment, I did four groups. The control group, which here as the green ones, they had no thermotherapy. Group one had 35 degree water for 30 seconds and that group is the brown ones. Group two was in 45 degree water for 30 seconds and those are the reddish and, or pink paper. And group three was in 60 degree water for 30 seconds. And as you see, that's day one and over here is day eight. Again, that's day one, this is day eight. On day one, all the strawberries were really nice. They look shiny and healthy and good to eat. On day eight, um, most of the strawberries weren't doing so good. This, these strawberries look, have prickly seeds. The strawberry over there has a lot of bruises and it looks smushy. But if you notice, the orange strawberry on day eight looks a lot better than the other three. Because for my experiment, I had to interpret visual data, I made stages of strawberry decay so that I could put them into what stage they fell into. So in stage one, the strawberries are beautiful. They have bright red color, they're shiny, they, they're firm, and they're... In stage two, there's some small bruises, like soft spots, but the strawberries still shiny and firm. In day three, the strawberries are darker by the tip, they're a little softer, and the leaves start to shrivel up. By stage four, the strawberries covered in bruises, they're mushy, has very bruised tip, the color is dark red now, and it's very neutral, has a neutral firmness by the top, by the leaves, and very soft tip. On day five, the strawberry, on stage five, the strawberry doesn't look good enough to eat. It's mainly bruised, it's soft, it doesn't look edible at all. I wouldn't want to eat the strawberry. So these are my results. Y-axis are the stages, and these are the groups, and the colors represent the days. If you can see, so I went to group one and the control group are very similar, decayed at a very similar rate. Experimental group two did a lot better, decaying a little slower. Experimental group three has the biggest change. It actually didn't reach stage five by day eight. In conclusion, thermotherapy did prolong the shelf life of strawberries. The higher the temperature, there was slower the rate of the strawberries decayed. Perhaps we could try higher temperatures. This is very important because, especially now, fruits are imported from long distances, especially in the winter, because strawberries grow and grow in warm climates. So during the winter, they come from other places. And because they're imported, some places don't have a lot of access to fresh fruit because fruits spoil. So thermotherapy can be a way that we can get other places to have access to fresh fruit, which are really important in our diets. They have vitamin C and foliate and potassium and antioxidants. So yeah, thermotherapy shows a great potential in doing all of this. Thank you.